Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh and in this video we'll continue our discussion about pre-processing in scikit-learn. Here we'll look at centering kernel matrices. So we'll look at the dot kernel centerer uh, that we can use to center a matrix. The intuition for the way this works is, let's say if we have this kernel matrix, uh, that's a three by three matrix as shown here. And on this matrix uh, right here, what we need to do first is calculate the column matrix, uh, column mean and row mean. So column means for this, so we have this for example, one plus three plus two divided by three and so that's how we have that two and similarly on this side we have one plus two plus three and divided by three and that's what we have here so we are getting the column mean like this and we are getting the row means like that so once we have both the column mean and the row mean we also need to get the total mean which would be the mean of this entire thing and then for calculations what we need to do then is subtract the column mean from the matrix x then we want to subtract the row mean from the matrix uh, from the output that we have here and then finally we want to add the total mean to the value uh, that is in x and thus what we get in the final output is a kernel, a kernel matrix that is centered. And what I mean by centered here is that the total mean of that matrix is zero. All the row means are zero, uh, or the column means are zero, and all the row means are zero as well. So let's look into Jupyter Notebook and see how we can implement this in Python. Here I've already created a new notebook and imported two libraries, NumPy and sklearn, and also imported the pre-processing module. And the versions that I'm using are these right here. First, let's go ahead and create uh, an array which we'll use for this particular video. X is equal to np.array and here we have one, two, three, and then in the second row, I have three, two, one, and in the last row, we have two, one, and three. Now, when we look at X, this is the array we have, and we'll think of this as a kernel, which we are going to transform and make the means to zero. So the method would be similar, say scalar is equal to pre-processing dot kernel centerer with rer and then fit x and after that uh, we can check what's in scalar so print scalar dot k underscore fit underscore rows underscore and then these are the mean row means that we already have seen here so 2 1.6 and 2.33 and then we can look at the entire mean so scalar dot k underscore fit underscore all underscore and this is the total mean of the array that we have the kernel matrix that we have now we can go ahead and transform our x using the scalar so for that, let's create another variable x underscore uh, centered is equal to scalar dot transform and we need to transform the kernel x. So here we can go ahead and now print x underscore centered and uh, as you can see, this is the centered matrix. Uh, we can check if the mean is zero. So np dot mean of the entire x and uh, sorry enter x centered and here we can see that it's zero so if we round it to two decimal places uh, we can see it's zero 
and we can check the axis so we can look for the columns first so these are zero we can see that these two cancel out these cancel out and minus one plus one cancel out again we can uh, check this for axis is equal to one which would be the means by rows and they are all zeros so this was a very short video i uh, just wanted to show you how the kernel centerer works and if you need to use centering for a kernel matrix, uh, this could be an image processing, then this would be one way to do that. I hope uh, in your, you've learned a lot until now in this pre-processing series. We'll continue this discussion in coming videos and look at some other aspects of how we can pre-process data using scikit-learn. Please like, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you.